Earth. The origin of our ancestors. A century had passed since they discovered the Eve Gate. A wormhole. Passage to a remote corner of the universe. New Eden. It was the largest colonization effort in the history of man. The mass settlement of hundreds of strange new worlds. We thought nothing could stop us. After the Eve Gate collapsed, countless colonies perished. The scattered survivors forgot the old world. Fragments of mankind, light years apart, lost contact. Thousands of dark years passed until humanity rose again to be with the stars. In different corners of New Eden, great empires had evolved. Four different faces of humanity. When they clashed, the wars were merciless. Out of the years of conflict, a new kind of human emerged. One capable of immortal life. To transform into this rare breed, we pay the ultimate price. At the moment of death, our mind is transferred to a fresh clone. We have become Immortal. In the sky, we reach farther. On the ground, we strike harder. The empires are losing their grasp on power. And as our age begins to dawn, they will learn to fear us. of New Eden. We are aware your scanners are detecting cosmic anomalies of an unknown nature. Deploying sentry drones. Now should keep them busy. These anomalies originate from covert research facilities known as ghost sites. They are run by hostile factions and pose a significant threat to the entirety of New Eden. Battleships on grid. Time's up. We gotta go. Negative. Just hold them off. I'm almost through. The Empires demand full compliance with the following directive. Capture here access to these illicit facilities is strictly forbidden. Taking heavy fire. Unauthorized interactions will be considered a violation. Almost there. Shield are down. There's so much damage. And should you fail to comply? I'm in. I've never seen anything like this. Wait, no. Abort! Abort! There will be consequences. We're broadcasting. 
broadcasting live from inside the Ishikone headquarters in Malkalim, where the scene is utter chaos. This summit was supposed to bring hope to Galente Kaldari relations, but the Federation escort, a Nick's mothership flown by Alexander Noir, has set a deliberate collision course with this station. Thousands of people are forcing their way to escape hangars now, and our team is desperately trying to make it out on one of the evacuations. The vastness of space intrigues and terrifies us. Seemingly unconquerable and unending, the universe dares us to explore. While most seek comfort in security, an exceptional few defy their fears and accept the challenge. They venture into the dark, driven by a desire for knowledge, wealth, and power. Because unlike the others, they have the courage to face the hidden dangers of the unknown. They know that with great risk also comes great reward. Let us cast off our fear. This is the age of discovery. This is our odyssey. This is Vic. He just made the mistake of his life. On any given day, Vic preys on the weak and gets away with it. But this time, he picked the wrong target. See, those miners were part of the resource division of a large corporation, the key moneymaker for a major industrial alliance, led by one of the wealthiest men in the galaxy. With a bounty that high, he has to run. Because everybody with a trigger finger and a taste for cash will be coming after him. Some he can fight off. Others, he can outmaneuver. But today, Vic is about to get caught by the most savage hunter of them all. Me. Progress. What is it? Out here, progress is numbers. Millimeters, kilometers, head counts, death tolls. This is progress. burned, ships destroyed, people killed, money earned. It all comes at a price. And if the price is right, I'll set the universe on fire. Um, we have a breaking story. This is live footage of the Rattalos border in Solitude, where Imperial Navy warships have just crossed... Uh, wait, correction. We have reports now that those ships belong to the Amarian Royal Air Orium Cador, not the Imperial... Whoa! They've opened fire. I don't believe it. Amarian Air Orium Cador has just launched a personal invasion of Federation space, which just months ago was invaded by... I'm sorry, we're getting more footage now. Okay, heavy fighting is underway between forces in... Look! Military experts are calling this a sinusoral field. Hundreds, maybe thousands of ships are coming through. Oh my God. This is a massive Federation counterattack. The Galentians are fighting back with everything they've got. Look, a Federation Titan has just come through. There's no escaping them now. Jammer is down. 
outpost until reinforcements arrive. Copy, Rogue. Gulf in position. Paris only 30%. What's the ETA on those reinforcements? We're going as fast as we can. Just a few more jumps. Copy that, Talon. Get here as quick as possible. Stealth recon. I'm cloaking at 40. Gulf, that's your primary. Copy, engaging. Heads up. He's a little sino. New contacts.
Over here. This one seems to be intact. Okay, let's bring it in for analysis. The implant recovered by the extraction team has fascinating properties. An instant transfer of consciousness, even at the moment of death. So much blood has been spilled in the name of our faith. Too many have died at the hands of Imperians. Imagine the military application. But we have been blessed. I will unleash this new power and end the war. We cannot allow one nation to control it. They have done enough to leave their mark on history. Their soldiers would be dangerous beyond measure. The power they would have, they would be... Immortal. Exactly. Anomaly, uh, a light anomaly, a star anomaly. And apparently the closer you get to Jove space, the better you can see it. It has been nicknamed Caroline Star. Whatever happened there is massive. What caused that whole thing to happen? Jovian stargates have gone offline. The circadian sleepers have also been appearing. All those things have been scanning everything that comes near them. The unidentified structures that have been popping up and disappearing. They are listening to you, preparing to explore, preparing for war. Is it possible that the sleepers have found a way to break away from the construct? There's no telling what they might do out of self-defense. Maybe the sleepers are the ones needing the, the body parts so that they can reconstruct bodies because their actual bodies have withered away. Change our world forever. The fleet awaits your command, my lord. Detecting an Imperial fleet moving in on your location. We are not aborting the sequence. Prepare for battle.
will follow a storm. Spot. Does that make sense? Roger. Yep. Yep. Standing. Okay, stand by. So, you guys, here's the deal. They got their prophecy fleet up, and then Razor also has an Oracle fleet. So, we should have some interesting stuff about to happen. So, it's going to be like this we're going to portal through, and at the same time, the triage carriers are going to jump just the triage carriers at first. Everyone clear? Let me see. Oh, crap. I think. Will we able to take on Guardians? Yeah, they got four Guardians. I don't think we should do this. I don't think we can do this. Don't worry about that. Now we're gonna fucking play some fun games. Wow, it's racing. Fun, relax. All wings align. Primary is the Dominics. In five, four, three, two. Decloak, decloak, decloak. Torpedoes on the Dominics. Dominics, Dominics. Orbit on me. Michael Warp Tribe's on. We're moving. Secondary is Vipers in the Omen. He's in structure. Take him down. Dude, that revelation out now. All units on the ramp. Turn out towards that guard. Just now. All dams on the damnation. All dams on the damnation. Scepter, stay here and tackle prophecies. This is where we fight. All right. So I'm carrying a hundred times more than my ship is worth. There were some pirates chasing me. Um, this one guy chased me through like five different systems. I need to get the fuck out of the system. This little rock right here is worth about 166 million isk. For some people, this might not be a big deal, but for me, it's huge. Seller 4.2, pretty nice. Gonna produce four of them, two days, 19 hours, 11 minutes, 44 seconds. We can expect to make eight to 10 million around there. 51 out of 56 grit. Okay, good. And we've got five modules to fit in here. The ship's speed is actually pretty good. It can hit 4K a second. We're going to hurt that now by adding on some armor buffer. Up, success. Yeah. Thanks, dudes. Yay, so it's so much fun. Oh, yeah, such fun. It's almost done now. Like, uh, less than a week. Oh, look. Whoa. Okay, got it. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> that is Rex and Kings, right? Oh, yeah. there. I'll give you silos down, I'll give you silos down. Go, 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 silos down. Portal, portal, primary. Gate is green, gate is green. Sniper skills to one red, you guys, BSC. I think that's idle, man. Come on. Oh shit, how do I warp to something? D war drone, all E war drones on Scott. Why are you decloaking? Pat, so I'll be the secondary. Oh my god, that's a target! Holy <laughs> shit! Let's go, get those fucking bombs out, Red Group, fire! Gold Group, stand by! 